A little while back, while sifting through piles of junk, I stumbled upon this wooden hand plane. And I thought, there might be a future video in that. Let's have a look at the iron. It was a state. Oh, that is covered in grease. Okay, but it's had some love. So I decided that it would be quite an interesting project to give it a bit of a clean up. Now, it was covered in grease and sandpaper didn't touch it. So I went straight to the Moxon Vice and I got out my jointing number seven plane. I wanted to be really careful on the base to remove as much of the greased up old wood as possible, but to keep the level surface. As you can see here, I took my time and there was still a really high spot all across the middle there where you can still see the shine. Now, if you're going to head down this road, if you manage to find one of these beautiful wooden planes, take really thin shavings until you can get an even surface like I've got here. Use your fingers to find any undulations in it or any chip outs, anything like that, and then go about it with a smoothing plane to finish the job. That way you'll guarantee a nice flat surface with the best finish possible. Now I've truly never done anything like this before, but the thing to remember is it's just a piece of wood. If you want to remove the surface quickly, use a plane. So I just went about the sides with a number four hand plane, making sure to get the angle where it meets the base as well to take out some of the chips that had accumulated over time. And then the bits on the top that I couldn't get out with a plane, I just took 60 grit sandpaper to until all of the grease and all of the old wood disappears. It's very much like trying to get the finish on anything that you would make in your workshop anyway. I just worked my way down the grits until I had a finish that I was happy with and made sure that I took extra care on the handle and the wedge to get the nicest finish possible on some of the more moving or parts that you might touch. And then for the iron. Now this was in a horribly pitted state, covered in grease. And to be honest with you, I don't think the sandpaper was really cutting it, but it was the best I could do with what I had. You might want a grinder on this. To get the angle back on the blade, I tried everything. I put it on a 25 degree bevel and I took it across this sandpaper for well over an hour till all the grit had gone and still I was struggling to get it down to a square edge from what it was when I got it. And I'll say here, I've watched so many videos where you hit it here, you hit it there to move it forward, move it back, loosen it up. I hit it pretty much everywhere until well, I just took to hitting the iron itself to try and get it out. I'm not sure if it was me or the plane at this stage. Anyway, once everything was sanded and cleaned up, I just used this Danish oil, which in all honesty is not nice enough to put on any work pieces. It doesn't give the finish I want, but it gives a beautiful finish on this to, for the wood. And then just standard three in one for the blade and for the chip breaker, just to give it some extra protection against rust, even though I left a fair bit of the rust on it as it was. Now you could call this finished. If you look at the iron, it's got a 25 degree bevel on it. I might have even managed to put a slight micro bevel on it. And at uh, the back, I flattened as much as I could. You, could. you could just call that if you want to display this. But then I thought to myself, well, let's give it a test and see how well it performs. And actually, if you watch the original junk video, this was what you'll have seen. Going across with a heavy, heavy pass on some oak. And it came up all right. Better than I expected it to. But hang about, because later in the video, it's going to get better. That did a really good job for a very rough sharpen. But if I'm going to use this, that really has to improve. So let me try that one more time, but doing a proper sharpen on that blade. Okay, so for this, I got the proper workstation out. And if you watch the build of drawers that I did in the last video, you'll see how useful this actually is. I spent around about 45 minutes just trying to flatten the back on this 180 grit diamond stone. I went there for a long time. You don't need to see it all. And then 
I redid the entirety of the 25 degree bevel and put a 30 degree micro bevel on it using the proper stones, 400, 600 and 1000 grit, finishing it with the strop. In truth, the results are night and day difference as you can see here. I put it back into the plane and I have to say, just looking at it from the base with the new oil and the shiny steel, that's quite a sight to behold. I was actually getting really excited to test it out. So I got the same piece of oak out so I could do a test and it was like cutting through butter. It was unbelievable. I'm just going to leave you with the sounds and watching and I wish you could see the smile on my face at this wow. stage. They are so thin. One finger. It literally took no effort. As you can see here, I'm barely holding the plane and I even had time to mess around with a few different angles. Check it out. It's not really easy to show you the finish, but trust me, it was like glass. I can't lie, I genuinely had an entirely different way that this video would end before I just did that. Because this video started with me wanting to do this up to display. And I genuinely, I'm not lying to you now when I say, I've just had more pleasure from using that than any other hand plane any other hand plane in this workshop. Sorry guys. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just looking at these oak shavings and seeing how perfect each and every one of them came out. There are a few niggling issues that I need to get used to and I need to practice because it's a new tool to me. I couldn't get the iron to come out by whacking the back, whacking the front, whacking the side, whatever they hit with a hammer to adjust it. So I think I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that, but I'll figure it out. And then this is going to become a mainstay within my workday life. And I love it. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a real surprise for me. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. I picked up a load of old tools that I need to do up. You'll probably see some of them on this video. Or if you want to see more about hand planes, there's a video there for you. They're both great videos. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys over there.